So hey guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is now Monday. It's actually just going up to 12 o'clock Monday. Um, this morning I got up, I made some pancakes. Hannah had left me some buttermilk pancake batter that she'd made on Sunday whilst I was at work. So I had a couple of those and then I've just done some maths work and I just filmed my review on the Makeup Revolution brushes. I feel like it was like the worst video ever. I feel like I was all over the place. I didn't really like plan it very well. I don't know, but we'll see, I'll edit it later. So I've been quite productive this morning. Um, I need to have some lunch. I'm getting really hungry already. It's only like just come up 12. And I worked my personal statement a little bit as well. Just then I was doing some, um, I don't really know what I'm doing with my personal statement. Like I need to update it, but I don't really know how. Um, so I'm not really sure. I need to do some more research and like get some people to read it for me and see what they think as well. Um, I'm going to take the doggy for a walk later and get on with some more maths work. I really want to just like get my head down in the next couple of, well, today, because tomorrow I'm actually going to visit Matt again at uni. I was only there last week, but it's our three year anniversary on Wednesday, so obviously I had to go up for that um, to see him, because it'd be weird if we weren't together on our anniversary. Um, so yeah, I'm going up there, but I want to get, and I'm actually driving, I haven't ever driven before, it's not too far, it's like an hour and a half drive or something like that, but um, I've never driven long distance by myself or on the motorway by myself so yeah it'll be quite interesting um i'm quite nervous but i'm really excited at the same time because i just like i can't wait to go i can't wait to get it done and be like yes i've done a long journey by myself so yeah and that's kind of what's going on i want to get a lot of maths done i want to just really make progress because i feel like the last couple of weeks i really slacked um and i just want to get get it done so i can relax a little bit more over christmas and also i am going to hopefully hopefully do 25 videos on the 25 days leading up to Christmas so I need to do a lot of maths now so that I've got a lot of time to do that um, but that is going to be a big challenge if I do vlogmas as well that's a really big challenge I might maybe I don't know I feel like maybe incorporating vlogmas onto my main channel instead of on here and doing that as part of the 25 videos um, doing like I don't know I need to work it out so this is my cupboard of naughtiness where I sometimes well, I normally end up getting stuff for lunch from. We've got like bread and stuff down there, but we've also got like loads of noodles. And I just spotted, I've got a new pack of cup of soups. This is my favourite cup of soup, so good. Or I might have some ravioli, but Hannah will probably kill me because I always eat the ravioli in the middle. She wants it, we've got none left. Um, super noodles. I actually just like the chicken ones. I don't know if there's any in there. Dad's, maybe some there. Uh, or pasta, macaroni cheese. This, this batch of pasta and sauce things are the best. Or do I do like my own pasta sauce? I don't know. Or I'll just eat the whole tub of never had the Nutella. You wanna go out? Is that what you want? Oh no, you're just looking out the window. No, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry to disturb you. Oh, what are you doing? Now you wanna go out. Yeah, I thought so. So we've just come out for our little walk and we've come to this bit down the beach I've never been to before. Um, but I'm just trying to get Tilly to take a photo for her Instagram and she's having absolutely none of it because there's a seagull on the beach and she's like, I cannot look cute, I must look fierce. Come on then, go get it. She's like, I don't know what to do. It's quite windy today, but um, it's still quite nice, it's pretty cold though. Come on. I can't let her off the lead because she'd go straight in the seat. Oh, now you want to sit and look cute. Oh, okay, we photo shoot time. So, good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday and I've just washed my hair and tried to make it look normal, but it doesn't really. Um, I am just getting some breakfast. I've had a shower and this morning I am going up to visit Matt again because it's our anniversary tomorrow, um, which is very exciting. And, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just having some, I think we're having bacon and hash brown sandwich, super healthy, but um, I need some fuel to keep me going because I've never driven long distance by myself or on the motorway by myself. I've only ever driven on the motorway once before. Um, so I'm just like ever so entirely terrified. So we're just gonna give it a go and see how it goes. <laughs> oh dear. An m and beauty hall. I've never been in one of these before. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's also neat and it's really quiet. This is all good. Urban Outfitters. I'm in love with this jumper, but it's 46 pounds. And I feel like I need it in a small, and this is a medium, and they were downstairs, so I'm not going back downstairs to pick up a small to come back up again. 
No, thank you. It's just so comfy. I'm in love. So it's a bit later now, and I've just arrived at Matt's house. Or Matt's dorms, halls. And Shut you opened it all. I've got my present for our anniversary. Oh my god, it's heavier than I thought. And the guy pulls it out and was like, that's massive. And I was like, I did not realize it was going to be that big, I'm sorry. No, I didn't either, actually. I didn't think it was going to be this big. The ASOS did I'm so excited. But it's kind of it's kind of mean because I can't actually have my present for another month. Where are you going? You can't just go through and find your present. You've got to sit down and let me give it to you. Wait. Bear with. So this is what I got if you didn't, well, I did show you from that last clip, but it's amazing. It's full of all of these brands and there's more and I'm trying to very carefully show you and not show you any of Matt's university documents and stuff, but I'm so, so excited for it. It's actually, I'm really disappointed that they didn't make it look more Christmassy because it's just like a kind of, it's not really even a marble. It's like a, it looks like they've put like a black and white filter on like some scrunched up foil or something i don't really know but yeah it's still it's, it's actually so much bigger than i thought it was going to be as well like it's really heavy but i'm excited for this this will be featuring in every day of vlogmas <laughs> so i decided to treat myself today in tk maxx to a little handbag because i really needed a black handbag i actually did not have a black one and i saw this and i was just like oh this one's beautiful it's by fiorelli and it's got this long, thick strap, which was what I really liked about it. I just thought it would be really nice and it sits on my shoulder pretty, um, pretty well and everything. And I actually got a discount on it because there's a slight mark here. I don't know if you can see, it's like it's brushed against something. It's on the inside of the strap, so I didn't really care, but I thought it was worth mentioning it just to see what they could do. And it was 35 no, £34.99 and it was £32, so that wasn't the best discount, but it's a discount and I'm not going to complain. So yeah, you open it up. It's kind of weird to open, but it works. Open up like, you lift this flap, this is really hard to do one-handed. Right, hold that there. Open up the flap there and there's like two pockets and there's loads of little extra pockets inside, which is what I really liked about it. I just, I like a bag that is easy to organize. And yeah, I probably won't, I don't know, I can't really see myself using the little straps that much, but the little handles. But I just thought it was super, super cute. And um, I really love how soft it is. I'm pretty sure it's real leather, like most of their bags are. Like, it retails for £65, so I'm sure it must be real leather. If it's not, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, so we are about to go out for our meal. We're going to a nice Greek restaurant. Yeah, you should wear those. I haven't seen you with those one yet. You've got your little boots. I'm taking my new bag out for a swing and... For a swing? I'm taking my new bag out. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking my new bag out. Super excited. And yeah, we're going for a Greek place, so... I'll probably just, like, show you what I eat, and that's about it. And I've got my new shoes on, too. Okay, so we've got our starters. We've got calamari, pitters, and hummus. And some wine, and I'm really hungry. Let's go. Yeah. My lovely meatballs and rice. And that's got some, what was it, lamb? Kleptika and chips. Kleptika and can't say it. <laughs> Yummy. So, welcome to Wednesday. I am clearly back in my bedroom. I. We, well, I didn't vlog today because we kind of just had a bit of a chilled anniversary day. Um, we got up, I went and got Greg's for breakfast and brought that back because super romantic me, you know. I actually didn't know where Matt kept stuff in the fridge because obviously he's in halls so I didn't know which stuff was his and which stuff wasn't his and I didn't want to wake him up so I was just like, I'm just going to go get breakfast and bring it back without trying to use someone else's stuff. Um, so yeah, I did that and then we actually went to Macro you know, super romantic date. Um, we both wanted to go, but I I never normally drive up to visit him. So I never know, we never normally have a car and he's obviously there and he has a macro card because of like the fact that his family owns a cafe where we both work. So he's got one as well. Um, in case you ever need to pick some stuff up. So we went to macro, got a couple of things. He wanted like a giant sized washing up liquid for, um, for his flat because obviously they go through a lot of washing up liquid because there's like 11 of them in a flat um i got some san pellegrinos because they are macro is the cheapest place to buy san pellegrinos because they are quite expensive i'm talking about like the cans of like the flavored ones not the water um i think it's i think that's how you say it san pellegrino someone correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's how you say it um so yeah, i got some of those and what else did i get i got some toblerones they have giant toblerones i'll show you this size 
This is the 360 gram version, the big one. They are two pounds 50. Two pounds 50, so I bought two. They did this last Christmas as well. They do them super, super cheap and um, yeah, always a good, if you have a macro card, just go and have a look at the chocolate section. It's just like, I am so, so in love with my new handbag. Like, this is my new baby. I absolutely love her. Um, she's called the, I think it's the Fiorelli, begins with a B. If you search Fiorelli grab bags, it will come up on their website. Um, and it's the mini one. I would like it to have been a bit bigger, but um, I don't like, the size is good. It's a nice little evening bag. Um, the only thing is I want to wear it all the time, which is like, I just need to not do that. I need to keep it as like a special occasion bag. Um, I also picked up loads of stuff from MUA in Superdrug because I want to do a full face of MUA at some point. Um, probably, I'm still trying to work out what to do with my videos over December. I don't know whether to do one every day or like five, like Monday to Friday upload them. I'm not really sure. Oh, and I'm running out of memory, so I'll chat with you in the morning. Hello, welcome to Thursday. It's Thursday today. I always go to start saying it and I'm like, yes, I know the day, I know the day. And then when I go to say it, I'm like, no idea what day it is today. Um, so today has been a bit all over the place. I was going to vlog loads today, but it's like half six now, ten past six. And um, I haven't started the vlog yet. But um, basically what happened is I got up, I got ready for the day. I did some school stuff or some maths. I hadn't actually done as much maths as I thought I had to start off with. So that annoyed me because I already knew I wasn't going to finish my to-do list because... I had actually planned to do the entire day, just to get loads of maths done, but I knew that I'd already not done. I thought I'd done like these 21 questions and I'd only done seven of them. So it took me an hour and a half and I've nearly finished them. But then I was really hungry, so I went and got some lunch. And then my mum called to say that the one of the places we clean, um, the holiday apartment thing, not holiday apartment, was called? Holiday cottage that we clean has just had a last minute booking for tomorrow and I had to go and clean it because it, we'd, we'd like started it but we weren't rushing it because we knew that there wasn't another person in for like another week or so so we didn't want to like do it and then have to go and refresh it and all sorts well, no, we, we were going to but like yeah we were going to clean it at some point and um so I had to run over there and I've spent like the whole afternoon cleaning over there but then mum was at work so I couldn't do all of it because she I didn't know where she'd put some of the sheets and stuff so very stressful. I've been back for like an hour now and I'm just recovering. Um, the dog has just left me on the sofa. Obviously, she's done with the cuddles. I made myself a coffee and now I'm starting to feel a bit more human again, a bit more awake. Um, so I need to go and finish off some maths so I can at least get to where I thought I was this morning because I haven't even started on my to-do list, which is really annoying because I wanted a really productive day, but I had to work, so... That was that. What am I doing tomorrow? I don't think I have any plans as such. Um, I've got an ASOS parcel that I was supposed to return and I never got around to doing it today. So I have to do that. In fact, I'm going to have two now because there was something else that I had another parcel that I thought my sister might be. I, I ordered a skirt. It was really nice from New Look. And it was on sale. It was like a um, khaki denim like A-line skirt with the button down in the middle. I've always wanted one of those skirts. I think they are so cute, but they just don't suit me. They make me look hideous. I don't know what it is. I've tried on so, so many, and I cannot find one that's flattering on my, my figure. Um, so yeah, that's really annoying, but I tried it on because it was only £9.50. It was on um, sale, and it didn't fit me, but it was, it was actually too big for me. I normally have to go for a size 10 because my hips aren't the smallest, and um, whereas I'd normally be an 8 for like the rest of my body. And um, I ordered a 10, but it was actually too big, so I probably would have been an 8, but it just didn't look good on me anyway, it looked a bit weird, so I thought my sister might, uh, it might fit my sister, but she said it doesn't fit her either, so I'm going to have to send it back now, and I'm really hoping that it's not been too long, like, that I can't send it back, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening, I'm going to go and announce my giveaway winner at some point. I've kind of, I've got the list, I just need to like get someone in my family to randomly pick one or something because I realised I've got like the list of people I've like went through and verified some people. Some people didn't actually follow me where they said they were going to follow me, I was quite surprised. I checked up and I was like, very naughty. So yeah, I need to get someone else to pick that for me so it's like an independent person and they can just go and pick someone and then they will be the winner and I've bought all the little bits for it. I've got a little um, note card and everything I'm going to send with it, I just need to send it. So hopefully I'll get that in the post. Well, actually, no, I need their address, so I can't get it in the post tomorrow, cause I, unless they respond to me tonight, I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to go do some more work 
and when my family get back they can help me with that and I am starving for dinner but everyone's at a meeting um, at Hannah's school which is just really annoying because I'm hungry. Hi guys, welcome to Friday. I have got crazy curly hair this morning because I slept in French braids and um, I kind of like it but at the top it's like fairly flat because obviously that was where like, the hair was straight because I didn't do it right like up here I can't I can only really do it kind of around to the side so I end up with like straight hair at the top so I just kind of have to keep playing with my hair to like even it out um so yeah I'm actually clearing out under my bed at the moment and um I just found a load of old books I used to read did anyone else read these the world according to Humphrey I love these books it's basically all about a hamster that was in a classroom or something I can't even really remember but I love them because I had a hamster myself so I was always like oh my god he's like my Harry the hamster but yeah I'm making massive progress i have got about 30 university prospectuses that i do not need that i'm going to get rid of and what i want to do i've got kind of a pile of shoes down here that don't fit on my shoe rack so i want to put them under the bed um just so that are out of the way and i've got a couple other things that can go under there i might even see if i can fit my guitar under there it might fit i'm not really sure i don't think it will at the moment but depends how i rejig things um so that's what i'm doing i've already done i woke up really early this morning my alarm was for half eight but i woke up at like half seven so my um so i'm already like ahead of schedule my little schedule um so i've already done like an hour and a half of maths i've already i've already been really really productive which is great and um I'm feeling good about things <laughs> so I'm gonna get on with this having like a half hour break or something I don't even know what time is now yeah I'm gonna have a break until 11 o'clock and then I'm going to go back to some maths also I tried to book some well I didn't try I like thought about booking some Blink-182 tickets this morning because there was they're going they're doing a tour again I'm not even sure when it is I think it's in July and um I was like oh yeah I'll have a look because Matt said he wanted to go and I was like oh, I wouldn't mind going I went to book the tickets, or like went at nine o'clock when they went live. They want fifty pounds for a ticket. I mean, the venue I go to isn't exactly great. It's a really small venue, um, which I suppose is good because it's a small venue. But like fifty pounds, I'm not spending fifty pounds for a ticket, and I won't be able to see anything if we're standing anyway. So it's just not even worth it. Um, so yeah, not doing that. But um, they said that there were some for thirty two pounds. They must have sold out within like the thirty seconds that it took for the website to load or something. Because like the cheapest I could get was. £43, but that was for the upper balcony, which is, like, right out the way, and it was just... I've been up there before for a concert, and it was just, like, pointless, because you weren't, like... You just didn't feel like you were in it at all. Um... Hello there! It's been a little while since I last vlogged. Oh, I've got a crazy bit of hair here. Um, my hair was actually really crazy this morning, I just checked the video, and I was just like... Wow, I looked great. Um, so I've had a really, really productive day. It's been great. So I told you, I think, in the in the video that I'd already like done some maths and stuff. I completely cleaned out under my bed. It was great. I cleared out my wardrobe, like the top shelf up here. I like took all that out and all the shoes down below. Like put the shoes that I don't wear that often under my bed. Oh, it was so great. Cleaned everything. I'm feeling so good. Um, also, I like cleaned off my little shelf here. There was like, because I keep like rocks and fossils on there. It gets a bit dusty. Um, so I like had to clean that and there was a load of books and magazines there that were like just old I kind of just put them there to fill the gap and they were so gross I took them out and they, they'd like gotten wet and if I'd left my window open from the rain so that all the magazines were like crusty and all it was like spiders and everything so dealt with those relocated the spiders I kind of like this little plaid it's just like I haven't had hair long enough to do this with I've kind of got it like up like that and then the second thought was like oh let's put it in a plaid um, I haven't had hair long enough to do this for a while, so it's quite nice to have have a little bit of a hairdo going on. Um, so yeah, super productive. I got done. I got loads of maths done. And um, what else? I've just notified the winner of my giveaway that they have won. I'm just waiting for her to reply um, so I can get her address so I can send it all off to her. And I'm really excited to send it off because this box has been sat in my room for literally like six months now because I've been having... I have just taken so long to do the video for the company, so, um, yeah, I'm excited to see the end of that because it's such a cool, it was a, um, nail polisher and it was such a cool product and I just didn't know how to integrate it with a video without just being like, here's a video on it, win the product. Like, I wanted to do my nail care routine, but I didn't really have, like, a nail care routine at that point, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I've just edited, I've just edited... I edited last week's vlog um so that's gonna go up pretty soon and i've got my video on the makeup revolution brushes has just gone up as well and i'm just gonna start planning to see the logistics of me doing 
a lot of videos in December. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do the 25 anymore or if I do I might do 25 including some vlogs or something. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to work but I'm kind of leaning more towards doing five days a week, do like Monday to Friday five videos a week sort of thing. Um, but then what do you call that? That's not like that's not a video every day, do you know what I mean? So I'm not really sure. Any suggestions, leave a comment down below, but I want to start filming them ASAP. Um, I kind of wanted to have like a nice little Christmassy background and everything, but I don't know... I don't know how I'm going to do that at the moment, so I need to work some things out and um, do a little bit of more planning, which is what I'm hopefully doing now. I've got plenty of video ideas, it's just actually getting them filmed, edited and uploaded, so... We shall see, I'll keep you guys updated on that. We have... We've got, um, I actually went out for lunch with my parents as well, like, they do this little, like, Friday date, and, um, I was just, like, they invited me to go, so I went for that little date on Friday, and, um, it was really nice, and I have macaroni cheese for dinner, and southern fried chicken. Naughty, but it tastes good, and I just need some comfort food at the moment, because I feel like I have done so much work, I deserve it. Okay, so a load of people told me a couple weeks ago that I need to try out this, um, what do you call this? This trick to, like, get rid of the little ridge on the candles. I don't know if you can see. You can see that it's, like, bent more in the middle. So I'm trying it out. Um, I'm not, like, sure how big the hole's meant to be because this candle's really open and the videos I saw were of it on, like, a Yankee candle. Um, it does kind of appear to be working. It's been lit for probably, like, 25 minutes or so, but... Not quite as quickly as they did it showed in the videos and stuff, so I'm not really sure. Um, I'm just going to leave it on there. I don't know whether the hole was like, too big still. Maybe I should like enclose it more, but I don't want to like do it too much and like suffocate the candle or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just having a little look on the good old ASOS. Um, I kind of want to do a clothing haul for this Sunday, so just having a look at that, see if there's any things that I want. Um, I've already got like a few bits and bobs that I've like picked up over the last couple of weeks anyway that I was gonna show, but there's a couple of things I wanted on ASOS, so I thought I'd have a look and just like see if there's anything else I can get at the same time. So then I can just do like one big clothing haul. I can send the stuff back if I don't like it anyway, because I've done the whole, I've paid for like next, like a whole year of next day delivery. So I thought I'd make my money's worth, you know, <laughs> just order loads of random stuff. And I am watching Cool the Midwife. Again, I'm obsessed with this anyway, but I'm re-watching it on um, Netflix from like series one, because I watched series one probably like four years ago now. So catching up with that as well. Hello guys, welcome to Saturday. I am currently having cuddles because she wanted to come up and she kept pouring at me and pouring at me until I let her up. Um, trying to decide what to have for lunch but we really have like no food in the house which is really annoying. So I'm con contemplating driving down to co-op to buy some ham to make a ham and cheese toasty but if I do that then I've either got to like park elsewhere and walk and it's raining or pay for parking and I'm not going to spend five pounds and get the money back. And it's only like one twenty, but literally I'm parking and going straight in to buy like a thing of ham and coming out again, so I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, but yeah, I washed my hair this morning, so it feels really nice. And I've got my Hollister jumper on and some black leggings and a lap dog. Okay, so I just went into town to do a few errands. I took my post office stuff, my ASOS orders back that... I didn't want like the pair of slippers I ordered that ended up being like really sparkly and I did not think they were going to be really sparkly so they're just not me. So yeah they've gone back and a green skirt I ordered from, it was like New Look, I think, I feel like I spoke about it, I can't remember. It's just a, a nice kind of green A-line skirt but A-line skirts just don't suit me so that's gone back. And I just did a little lap around town because there's a shop in my town that sells these candles. I cannot remember what they're called. I feel like it's like wood wick or something like that. But they've got like um, really cool wicks. They either have, hang on, I can't get my belt by myself. Um, they've either got like crisscrossy wicks or they've got like these, these, these wider, like longer, like oval shaped ones. And they've got like one long, like straight, like an actual long, like I don't know how to describe it, wick. They're really, really cool. And I wanted to order some online, but... I know that a shop in my town sells them, so I thought I'd go and have a look in there first, but I think it was shut. I, like, went up to it, and I couldn't really tell if it was open or not. Like, I had stuff outside the shop, but it um, seemed really dark in there, so I didn't really want to go in there. And I thought, if I see someone else in there, I'll go in, but, like, I hate going to the shops, and I'm the only person in there, because I feel like the owner's just, like, or the person who works in there is just, like, watching me. I know they're probably not, but, you know, like, when, like, it's the same when I work, like, I'm at work, and there's only one person in the cafe, like, 
and they're like coming up to the till you kind of like you do watch them without thinking i don't know so yeah i'm gonna head back now get on with some more school stuff i think my mom and dad are just leaving they're going off to my grandparents just overnight to just help them help my dad's mum with some stuff both my grandparents live um like really near each other they live like a mile or so apart in devon so i think it's more than a mile but like they live quite near so they're staying at one of them i'm staying at my mum's parents and their dad's gonna go see his mum and like help her with some stuff and my mum's parents are still trying to move house so um there's always like stuff to be done at their house you know like packing things or like organizing going through boxes and like getting rid of stuff that they don't need to take and stuff um so yeah that's going on uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do tonight i might i actually need to film my haul i ordered some stuff for asos as well just another asos haul you know um which arrived today i ordered it at like half 10 11 last night so when i got it it was a bit of a surprise because i kind of forgot what i ordered so i've got i took it all out of the packaging so i was ready but one of my parents to go because they've been doing diy in the hall they've been like painting and stuff so they like all i could hear was like them chatting in the background so i couldn't film but I'm, it's gonna be like dark so i'm gonna have to get my lights out and I don't know, but I've got the whole evening to do it because, hello, because I've got like literally nothing else to do. I've edited and loaded all the vlogs. This is the only thing I've got to do, so I'll do that. I mean, obviously, I've got schoolwork and stuff to do, but I've done quite a bit of that today, so hopefully, I can get some more done now and then I can have a guilt free evening. Also, I've been really loving this song. So, hello, welcome to the evening. I have just made myself quick coffee i'm emptying the dishwasher and i've just put dinner in which is two um smoked haddock fish cakes well one for my, one for me one for hannah my parents have just gone to my grandparents like i said um so i'm just emptying the dishwasher loading it up and then i'm gonna make some kind of a i can't decide whether to just go for the super easy pasta in a bag sauce thing or whether to actually make a sauce i think i'm gonna make a sauce um man up and actually do some proper cooking for once in my life um, so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i think hello it is now i feel like i've got lipstick there but i know i haven't um it is now later it's about 10 o'clock at night my dinner was lovely i made a pasta sort pasta and like tomato-y sauce thing and yeah i'm gonna sign off the vlog here just because I know tomorrow I'm at work and I just, nothing's happening in the evening. So I thought there's no point in me carrying on. Um, my lips look really weird. Oh, it's because I had um one of the NYX liquid suede on and then I've just put lip balm over it. So now it's like gone funny. Oh dear. I didn't, I don't think I remembered that I had that on when I put it on. Oh well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this weekly vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.